Okay, so we know that V made it back because Hanako called us to say, hey, you only got six months left, less than that. Come work for us. So we left. But it's like they didn't record two options for most of the characters because most of, most of the characters are acting like V didn't come back. Like Judy, she just left. Not even, she didn't even talk face to face. Like she knew we were coming back to her and she still left. That doesn't make any sense. The only explanation for that is that they, they didn't record the, the additional option of V coming back. And a few of those are like that too. Like, like Misty, for example. She was talking about how the fees for the, the, the orbital station were, were high to make a call. But we came back to Earth. She didn't have to send that message. So it's like they didn't finish the ending. They only did half of the ending. And if you choose the option to return to her to Earth, they didn't finish that. They left some of those options um, not done. So even if you came back to Earth, you are still seeing the options as if you stayed in the station. Which is unfortunate, man, because this game is amazing. And I love this game. I really, really love it. There's some very unique and amazing stuff here. And it's definitely one of my top 10 favorite games of all time, for sure. Maybe top 5. Well, not with those endings, it's not. Yeah, if the endings, endings were better, it'll be top 5, for sure. But, yeah, I mean, top 10 is still fucking amazing. I fucking love this game. But yeah, those endings suck. And they don't suck because of the story. They suck because they're unfinished. On the ending that V dies to make the engram for herself, nobody ever mentions that she died. Not even... Not even herself. Like... It feels empty and lacking. That's what it feels. It feels, it feels like there's something missing, you know? Like... Ever since Alt told... V, that she would have to kill her to make the, the engram. The game just forgot about that. N no, nobody ever mentioned that. There's no dialogue anymore between her and Johnny about that. It's like they just accept it. And that feels very lacking to me. Yeah, man. I think that would have been my favorite ending if they had addressed the fact that V died. But I cannot go with that ending if they just gonna pretend that she didn't. I can't. That's just fucking dis disrespectful as fuck. That's way too di disrespectful to me. Disrespectful to me. I cannot abide by that. And... The journey ending's fine, I guess. Still... It doesn't feel nice. It doesn't feel nice that we didn't get to say goodbye to our friends. Like, Johnny just ignores their messages. He doesn't even tell them that V died. Which is fucking wild to me, too. He just goes on with his life in his new body. And fuck our friends. He's not gonna message them or anything. He's not gonna call them. Unless there was a glitch in the game that I couldn't message them. I couldn't call them. But I doubt it. I don't think it was. Again, it felt kind of unfinished. It felt lacking. It could have been a great ending, but it, it missed something. It didn't have to be different. It just, it's just lacking stuff. And of course, the new ending, the Phantom Liberty ending, is just sad. Uh, it's a good ending. It might arg arguably be the best ending here, uh, because it is complete. It does have, it does make sense. Everything makes sense. It's complete. Things work out the way they're supposed to. The way that makes sense. There's nothing lacking there. So I think that might be the best ending just for that because it doesn't feel lacking. It doesn't feel like anything's missing from that. And unfortunately, the other endings do. The Johnny ending, he doesn't message your friends. Your friends don't even know what happened to you. That feels very weird. It feels like Johnny would at least tell them that you're dead or something. And the ending where you you make the engram of yourself 
they never addressed the game never ever addressed the fact that v died that she was gonna die it's like she it, like v and johnny were just fine with it and you as the player if you're not fine with that there's no dialogue option again there's only one line in the entire game that i played that addresses that and it's one line by v but ev but johnny and alt just dismiss that they don't take it seriously they just yeah man it's just it feels very lacking uh i wanted to feel more like the game cared if i as the player felt bad for v dying because the game seems to assume that everyone's just gonna take for granted that you are copying your consciousness which you're not it doesn't make sense if you die your consciousness dies you can I mean, you can make a copy of it, but it's not transferring, right? You're, you're not transferring your consciousness. Consciousness. You're just making a copy of it. It's another thing. It's another... You might call it person. It might be another person. A copy of you, like a clone. But it's not you. It's not you at all. And the game seems to just assume that... The game does, does not address that. The game treats, treats it as if it is a consciousness transference which it isn't you die and then this ending it could also have been pretty amazing uh i think it's actually my favorite out of out of the base game ones without counting phantom liberty except for the fact that those dial those little uh, voice calls at the ending they don't they don't seem to have been to the V that comes back from the station. And that just feels like half finished. It feels like they didn't Don't know if they didn't have the time or the money. Probably both. Uh, they probably had the money, but not the time to do the recordings for the V that came back from the station. But as a result, the ending just feels very lacking. Because some of those dialogues make no sense. Sorry, not dialogues, the transmissions, the voice calls. Some of those make no sense with the V that came back from the station. And again, we know for sure he came back because, because of Hanako's message. She was offering V to work for them because he came back to Earth. So, yeah, man, it's very unfortunate that the endings have those issues and they bother me. They are real issues to me. In an RPG game where I can have so much control over my character. Like this game gives you so much control in the dialogues and in your actions. You really feel in control of the characters. And it's an amazing role-playing experience. It's amazing. Except for the ending. Which is unfortunate because the ending are supposed to be the perfect thing, right? They're supposed to wrap everything up and supposed to give you conclusion. Or at least an ending to an, an an interesting ending to the experience right but they just feel very lacking every single one of them except the phantom liberty one and that makes me very sad like truly truly sad this game could have been an easy 10 out of 10 for me but it's not uh just because of the endings too i'm not even taking points away from the bugs and everything like that because yes there were major bugs and they were annoying but I, I could get through them either reload the game or just get through them you know they annoyed a little bit but not enough to take anything away anything major away from the game so even with the bugs i would give it a 10 out of 10 if the endings were if the endings felt complete and finished which they don't so to me, this game, I don't know, 9, 9.5, which is still, again, definitely on my top 10 favorite games of all time because the main game before the endings is just amazing. It's amazing. The The Phantom Liberty is just, main story is just perfect. Uh, I hated most of the side missions there. I thought the side missions in Phantom Liberty were incredibly lower quality than the main game 
I, I think I enjoyed most, if not all, of the side missions in the main game. But some of the side missions in Phantom Liberty, I, could, I, I was just trying to get through them as fast as I could because they were incredibly boring to me. So, yeah. The, the side missions in Phantom Liberty were, were not for me. So... Except, yeah, so, so the main story of Phantom Liberty, that's where I, I think it's perfect. I, I really do. Everything about the script, the characters, the setup, is just perfect. At least to me. Because I love that stuff. I love James Bond stuff. I love spy stuff. And Reed is one of my favorite characters in any video game. Just the few hours we had with him... He already became one of my favorite characters ever. I love Reed. He's amazing. He's so well written and the performance is, is mind blowing good. Just like V. V's performance is it was mind blowing the first time I, I, I started playing the game because holy crap. That is one of the best voiceover dialogues I've ever seen. I've ever heard, of course. Same with Reed. When I, when I heard Reed, I was like, holy shit, this is a real performance. This is a real actor. This is not just voice acting. This is just... This is acting. Like, this guy is, is putting seriously, serious effort into this performance. And I'm here for it. So yeah, the fact that Reed's character is amazing. Writing for him is amazing. And his voice is just... An incredibly good performance. Uh... Makes, it makes him one of my favorite characters of all time. And so yeah, Phantom Liberty, 10 out of 10. Because I, I can ignore the, the, side, the side quests and stuff. That main story was just perfect. So it's unfortunate that the endings of the main game are... They feel unfinished. That's what they feel like. They feel lacking. So, that's it. That's my review, I guess. Not, not really a review, right? It's just my final thoughts. I'm not going through the game and stuff, so... Yeah, those are my final thoughts on the game. Uh, I fucking love it. It has issues. Some people... I think most people will be bothered by the, the bugs more than I was. So, it might be a... It might not be a 9 out of 10 for most people, but to me it is. Would have been an easy 10 out of 10 if the endings felt better, felt more complete, but... Unfortunately, we got what we got. Um, so that's it. Uh, I might be doing some other stuff, I'm not sure. Some dialogues I missed or something. But I think that's the end for the main playthrough, you know? I think I'm gonna go with that ending. That ending is the best out of the main, the main base game to me. And I've already talked about that. So yeah, this is not the ending of the Cyberpunk 2077 content. I will be playing this game again somewhere in the future. I will be maybe going through some missed dialogues that I missed soon, but this is the ending for now. The ending of the main playthrough. Thank you very much for being here, for accompanying me in this journey, and yeah, man, having some fun together, or not. Thank you for just listening to me right, listening to me right now. I'm still learning this, all this stuff about speaking to a microphone and stuff. So yeah, I appreciate you taking time to listen to me. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you again next time. Alright, thank you so much for watching. And this is Stamp signing off. Bye-bye.